So what is implicit association testing? Don't think of a white bear. No, really. <laughs> Don't think of a white bear. So what happens, obviously? When somebody tells you to not think of a white bear, what happens? You can't help it. You can't not think of a white bear. This is an old trick from, uh, from the social psychologist to illustrate the idea of automatic, irrepressible cognition. We call this a prime. When you're primed with an image or a word or a sound or a scent, something happens automatically for you in your mind. Those associations that you have with that prime become accessible. And it influences your behavior toward or away from that stimulus. Implicit association testing works on this basic principle of priming and response time following a prime. So just like the white bear, when we show you Disney, what happens? You have automatic associations with that brand. They might be, for example, celebration, warmth, childhood, security. Whatever your associations with Disney, when you are primed with the Disney brand, those associations become more accessible. We've known this in marketing that we've wanted our brands to be top of mind, but now we know there's a neural basis for that. At least we have a way to talk about it. The strength of those associations actually um, can be characterized as your implicit attitude towards that brand, and they influence your behavior toward or away from that brand. When we think of system one and system two thinking, think of that as system one, what's happening automatically and associatively in your mind. It's only one piece of the picture. So we see Disney, we feel celebration, warmth, childhood, security. That may give rise to an emotion like happiness that you actually feel, or you may have those implicit associations of happiness. But there's more going on there, right? It's not just system one that determines whether you take a vacation at Disney. You actually engage your system two or your rational mind. And when you think of, it's very cognitive in nature, there's formulas involved. Um, when you think of a vacation of seven days at Disney, you might feel good, but then you see the price tag is $9,300. Made that up in case Disney's in the room. I don't know the actual price. But what kind of emotion is that going to lead to? Maybe anxiety? And so this becomes an emotional push and pull for the consumer. All of that data is quantifiable now that we have these advanced implicit association research tools. We can actually quantify the degree of emotional weight that people place on all of those associations that they have with the brand, as well as their negative emotional reaction if it's there for the price. And that weighting mechanism helps determine ultimate consumer choice. So we want to encourage everybody to think about integrative models of the conscious and the subconscious to determine consumer choice.